Welcome back everyone, this is Frank Whiskey, Charlie Zer Oscar. This is the RT Systems uh, program software for the uh, Yesu FTM510D uh, ASP. Well, it, doesn't, you don't, it doesn't have to be ASP, it could be the non-ASP. This is the YPS M510 USB, so it has the the I don't think it has the key for the software and it has a USB 77 cable which is super cool uh, and most most likely you need to choose it says right here Windows or Mac choice for program made at download so you got to choose which one you want you can't have both um, so here we're going to open it okay I have uh, FT systems, no, RT systems for my FT A57D and for my VX6. Very useful. Ah, oh, look, it's green. It's a green cable. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Ah, oh, man, this is so great. Let me see. So here. Congratulations, you're on your way to com complete radio programming. It's a phone number. I've called these people. Uh, I've gotten a, a lady um, answer the phone. She's awesome. She knows a lot. I was like having some problems with my FT5D. And she was like, did you do this? Did you do that? I was like, oh, no, I didn't. And I don't think she had that radio. So... These are great people. Oh, awesome. And then, what else do you got here? Getting started. Okay, this is for the software. And definitely, we're going to have to read somewhere. Um, it, it'll tell you um, how to load it into the radio. Oh, look at that. SD card. Hints and tips when programming your radio. Huh. I don't think it comes with it. Using a micro SD card for programming the radio can be tricky. Oh. So maybe you get maybe you get uh, uh, one of these you might buy one. What is this? Radio setup. The easy way. Set up all features, not just the memories, with RT system programming software and cables. Mm -hmm. I believe it. And then uh, we have serial number enclosed. Oh, this used to be a CD back in the day. Not anymore. No returns after installation. Serial number four is enclosed. Okay. So, you kind of know what is inside the box now. This is the important piece that, that you need to get. Yes, I know you can make one. Yes, you can probably get a third party one. Um, yes, you can, you know, <laughs> build, like I said, build it yourself. I've built one of these before. Whatever this, eight pin, two, Four, six, no, two, four, six, eight, ten pin. Jeez. I've done it before, but it just, USB? I've never done USB before. So, this goes, let me see. This one doesn't have, oh, look, it has an arrow. I can barely see that. But it does have an arrow. And the arrow, does that go up or down? Maybe down. Ooh, I'm not liking this. Oh, there it is. Yep, it goes in there very nicely. Let me see. There are, on the bottom, one pin, no pin, two pins. Which is something like this, yeah. You should never force these pins. If you don't feel like it's going in nicely, do not force it. You bend one of those pins, you're done. <laughs> it'll, 
Maybe it'll loosen up a little bit and poop, it pops and you're, you'll be sad. <laughs> this is a nice long cable. Oh, that's nice. You would think, you would hope by now, you know, they would use USB-C connections or something for programming the radio. Maybe in 10 years. May, you know, most likely this technology to license is very inexpensive. Most likely. That's my thinking. So that, that plugs in nicely. And uh, we'll have another maybe video on how to do that. I have taken my um, uh, FT5D um, radio and taking those values and then placing on my VX6 and I placed some of those VX6 values, you know, the repeaters and all that, on my um, FT-857D. So putting it here, copy and pasting, shouldn't be too much of an issue. Now I love, I love Macs, and you know, I use them all the time. But for a PC, I think uh, ham radio is more of a PC thing, which is unfortunate. Yes, you can use Windows, Macs, in ham radio, but if you're in the field and you want some softwares that are that are not on the Mac, you're gonna have you might have to move to the to the PC. Okay, so this is the YPS M510 USB cable and a slip for the software that you can run. Um, this is a fabulous um, company. They're awesome. I always like to support them. Um, they do great integrations with the radios. I've never had an issue with my ICOM 7300, IC705, you know, uh, uh, my 991, my D, uh, I, I don't have software yet for the for the FTDX10, but I'm sure there is. And then now this one, and we're gonna, we're gonna try that out as soon as possible. Okay, so I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please share it. Um, please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I appreciate everybody that does. If you have any questions, put, put them on the comment section and uh, uh, me or the community can help out in answering questions. All right, I'll see you later. This is Frank Whiskey Charlie, Zero Oscar. Bye-bye.